was your rock fest 2013 but it's a bit of a cluster uh where to begin well to get from the campground number four to montebello took two hours on friday morning i heard other people say that it took them three hours that's unacceptable there needed to be more buses and there needed to be more shuttle roads the whole bracelet thing needs to be rethought to get your ticket in the mail we anticipated that there wouldn't be enough transportation from the festival site back to camp four and that fear turned out to be correct when we heard that uh, lots of kids were stranded in montebello uh, or had to call for a, for a ride. We missed Offspring on the first night, and we missed uh, Alice Cooper on the second night. Sanitation was horrendous. Uh, it was like having a rock festival in Calcutta. The, the open air sort of urinal things were, were absolutely horrid. A great vibe. People were treating each other well. Didn't see any medical personnel. I saw a lot of walking wounded, people that had been injured in the mosh pits, who had were hobbling out of the site. You seemed to run almost despite the organization or lack thereof. There wasn't a lot of frustration. It was a beautiful day. People were uh, were, were enjoying themselves, and those who got in, I think, felt lucky that they got in. And once you got into the site, there's lots of great shows. The sound was terrific. Bands seemed to hit the stage like clockwork, and uh, when one stage was setting up, another stage would be playing. There was uh, great second, third, and fourth stages, local bands. Uh, the acts seemed to be having fun. They sounded superb. I didn't see a bad show at, at this festival. And the bands all seemed to show up. Tickets were reasonably priced, and I appreciate them keeping the prices low. I understand what they're doing there, but personally, I heard a lot of people saying they would pay an extra 15 or 20 bucks just to have clean toilets, so maybe think about that for next year. Uh, the townies were mostly cool and kept prices fair. The people of the town really shone. They, they opened up their, their backyards for a reasonable price, <laughs> sometimes for an exorbitant price, but I think most people were charging reasonable prices for rides, for parking spaces, for uh, backyard camping so good for them if it had rained for the two days this would have gone from a festival with problems to a disaster that it was sunny and beautiful with a nice breeze really saved their bacon i think uh, i guess they call it amnesia fest uh, because they hope you will forget and come back next year overall i'd give this festival a seven out of ten just because of the great music the cool crowds but seriously amnesia fest get your shit together for next year